is the largest still uh, natural body of water in the state of Georgia. Really? Yeah. No kidding. They can still, con even though they dammed it, it's connected, so yeah. they still consider it one. But of course, the actual river, the moving bodies of water are larger, so you have to be sure to put the word still. Um, you know, uh, the Alapaha disappears underground, and Florida has several rivers that have the unnerving characteristic of disappearing under the ground at times. The Santa Fe, Chipola, Osceola, etc. The Withlacoochee is the only one that I know of that a part of the river disappears underground. Uh, at high water. Uh, down in Florida, one is on the east bank, and it's cut through. A good hunk of the river at flood just rushes through there, up into a valley, and a duck fill sink. And the water's all going down into the aquifer, and there's another uh, place a little bit further down, but it doesn't capture the whole river. So a hunk of the river goes off at flood, and the rest goes on. Uh, there is a sink up this way that captures a portion of the river, uh, too. But uh, the, the aquifer and the rivers are really part of the same system. When you're kayaking or canoeing down the lower part of the Withlacoochee and you've just got a spring over here and a spring over here and a spring over here, you're looking into the aquifer. And at high water, the water's going to go the other way. So everything that goes into the river goes into the aquifer. And then we happily turn on our tap and <laughs> drink it. Uh, it's been filtered a bit, but you know, still, it's all part of the same system. Uh, one of the biggest threats really is, I think, over pumping uh, for our cities, for agriculture. Florida on the Withlacoochee, we have the Nestle bottling plant in Madison County, um, which, if you go by there, it looks kind of like it's kind of back from Madison Blue Springs. If you see it from the air, it's right up against the river. Um, now, Florida's counties have fought recently to prevent a bottling plant on the Wasissa and one on the Wakulla, so there is uh, there's always a movement every now and then in the Florida legislature to uh, actually charge for the water, which they don't charge for, uh, to get the bottlers to. What you're paying for when you get that Deer Park water uh, that's really just coming from down in Madison County is um, what you're paying for is really for the convenience. They put it through an ozone filter, put it in a plastic bottle, et cetera, et cetera. So I can sit on the edge of Madison Blue Springs drinking a Deer Park bottle of water, and it's the same water. When you drink the water 